Good evening, class. It's story time. There's a lot of things going on in my house today, so I had to sneak away to my bedroom so I could read you the story tonight. So I hope you don't hear my son yelling at his video game. And I, don't, I hope you don't hear Jarrett's music in the background or my mom talking on the phone. So I hope it'll be pretty quiet for us during story time. Tonight, the story that I chose is The Three Little Kittens. Um, and we're going to get started with our story for today. Oh, it is retold by Jean Marzallo and illustrated by Shelley Thornton. And we'll get started. Once upon a time, there were three little kittens. Daisy was white, Brownie was brown, and Smokey was silvery gray. Every day, the kittens went outside with their mother. As she watched them, Mama Cat did her knitting. What are you making? asked Daisy. A surprise, said Mama Cat. You'll find out when snowflakes fall. Autumn passed and snowflakes came. It was time for snowsuits, boots, and hats. But we haven't any mittens, said Daisy. That's the surprise, said Mama Cat. Brand new mittens for my three little kittens. The kittens put on their brand new mittens and ran outside to play. They made a snow dog and threw snowballs at it. That sounds funny that they made a snow dog instead of a snowman. Oh, here they are, throwing snowballs. Ha ha, you can't hit a thing, said a voice. The kittens looked up and saw a blue jay in the tree. Catch me, he cried. Daisy, Daisy jumped at the tree, but with her mittens on, she couldn't grab the part with her claws. Ker plunk. Daisy fell back into the snow. The Blue Jay screamed with laughter. Daisy threw her mittens on the ground and rushed up the tree. So did Brownie. So did Smokey. The kittens chased the Blue Jay all over the tree, but he was too fast for them. Finally, the kittens gave up and went home. They were so tired that they forgot their brand new mittens. What do you think their mom's going to say when they get home without those mittens? Mama Cat gave each kitten a bowl of fresh warm milk. Drink this, she said, and then you shall have some pie. As the kittens drank their milk, Mama Cat hung up their snowsuits. Where are your mittens? She asked, our mittens, said the kittens, we left them in the snow. What? Lost your mittens, you naughty kittens. No pie for you until you go back and find them. Have you ever lost something and your mom made you go and look for it? I know I have. The three little kittens went out and searched the snow. But they couldn't find their mittens anywhere. Ha! cried a voice above. The kittens looked up and saw their mittens. The nasty blue jay had hung them in the tree. Catch me, he cried. But the kittens paid no attention. They fetched their mittens and went home. Mama Cat was pleased. What? Found your mittens, you darling kittens. Now you shall have some pie. Three happy kittens began to eat. Dear me, said their mother, your mittens are dirty. I'll have to wash them tomorrow. Daisy had an idea, which she whispered to Brownie and Smokey. After the kittens had finished eating, they took their mittens 
to the basement and wash them all by themselves. Looks like they're making a mess to me. What do you think? When the kittens were finished, they rinsed the mittens and hid them behind their back. Yoo-hoo, they called. Mother dear, come here, come here, and see what we have done. Mama Cat saw a wet floor and three wet kittens. At first she was angry, but then she saw the six clean mittens. Wash your mittens, you darling kittens, and now it's time for bed. The kittens set their mittens to dry on the radiator in their room. Then they put on their pajamas and went to brush their teeth. When they came back, Smokey said, one of my mittens is gone. The kittens searched everywhere, but they couldn't find the missing mitten. Finally, Mama Cat hugged Smokey and said, if we don't find it tomorrow, I'll knit you another one. Now it's time for bed. Suddenly, Mama Cat was very still. Hush, she said. I smell a mouse. Pitter patter, pitter patter. Smokey's mitten was crawling across the floor. Mama Cat jumped up and caught it. As she did, a mouse leapt out and ran away. Mama Cat laughed and put the mitten on the radiator. The mouse must have wanted it for a sleeping bag, she said. Now he'll have to find something else to use. You see the mouse jumping out? Mama Cat tucked her kittens into bed and said good night. Good night, said Daisy. Good night, said Brownie. Good night, said Smokey. Thanks for catching my mitten. Mama Cat sat in her rocking chair and began to purr. Her purring was like a lullaby for the kittens, and soon they were fast asleep. The end. Now, this book has a poem about the three little kittens. Three little kittens, they lost their mittens and they began to cry. Oh, mother dear, see here, see here, our mittens we have lost. What? Lost your mittens? You naughty kittens, then you shall have no pie. Meow, meow, meow. Three little kittens, they found their mittens and they began to cry. Oh, mother dear, see here, see here, our mittens we have found. What? Found you your mittens, you darling kittens. Now you shall have some pie. Meow, meow, meow. Three little kittens put on their mittens and soon ate up the pie. Oh, mother dear, we greatly fear our mittens we have soiled. What? Soiled your mittens, you naughty kittens. And they began to sigh. Meow, meow, meow. Three little kittens, they washed their mittens and hung them up to dry. Oh, mother dear, see here, see here, our mittens we have washed. What? Wash your mittens, you darling kittens. But I smell a mouse close by. Hush, hush, hush. Thank you for joining me for the story tonight. If you've been tuning in for the Hardy Boys chapter book, that should already be uploaded for you. And maybe I'll read an extra chapter tonight especially since it's been such a dreary day today. Fortunately, the weather is supposed to be nice tomorrow, so hopefully we can get outside and do a workout or play in your yard or ride your bike or whatever you like doing outside. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you again tomorrow. Good night.